Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today we're going to show you a 1956 Packard Patrician. It's painted in Holland Blue Metallic. It was restored in 1985. We just got it in. We serviced the transmission, so we had it completely rebuilt at Gold Coast. And now you guys get to cha a chance to own automotive history. This is comparable to the Eldorados N56 in regards to the options that they had. This has power windows, power steering, and look at those beautiful white walls. If you want to find out more information on this ride, click on the link below. That's going to give you full gallery, underside shots, and a full description. Also, please like and subscribe so we can give you more great cars just like this. Let's do it. We're going to start off with the overall condition of the 56. I'd rate this easily a 8 out of 10. Minor imperfections in the paint. As I said, it was restored in 1985 and it was in Colorado, so it's a very dry underside. So you can look at the underside pictures if you click on the link below. All the chrome is not show quality, but almost there. There's a little bit of imperfections throughout. The grill is extremely nice. All of your emblems are in excellent condition. All your lights work as they should and the paint is unbelievable. So when you get it in bright light, you can start to see that metallic throughout. So you can see those, those little flakes in there. I do see small imperfections throughout. So there's a small little scratch here. And then I saw a scratch right next to the patrician bird, which is right there and they've touched it up. As you look at the sides, so the driver's side, unbelievable. Look at that trim work and all that chrome. I bet you can't even find that trim anymore. So this sold at Barrett Jackson in 2010 for 27.5. Um, and in that description, I, I don't have any documentation, they did restore the motor and transmission and rear end. When we received it, it wasn't shifting out of first gear, so we were able to send it out. And let me tell you, this is a one year only transmission, so it was really expensive to do, but now it shifts flawlessly. Uh, it does have power windows. You can see that the roof line is extremely clean. All of your emblems are in great shape and are original. And look at the fenders that come out to these beautiful taillights with the bezels throughout. And then you have, just like a Cadillac, the exhaust is coming out of the rear bumper section. And to chrome something like this, it would be extremely expensive today. That bright work and all of that, all of these uh, trim pieces flow to the rear of the trunk and look extremely nice. You do have tag lights. And then to open the trunk, this is so neat. So you do have a keyhole. So if you need to lock it, you can. And then you're gonna twist it and lift up. As I do that, look at how nice these emblems are. And the trunk is extremely clean too. That little piece right there actually just folds up behind here. But it's dry inside, nice and solid. You do have a spare tire here, so it has a Coker style white walls. And the trunk closes extremely nice. As you look at the passenger side, it's the same as the driver's side. The only thing is there's a small ding right here. It does have fender skirts and I don't see any imperfections on either side of the vehicle in regards to the, uh, the trim pieces. You have this nice chrome bezel right here and you do have a uh, accent light. As you open up the door, you're gonna see how nice the interior is and, and the uh, dash is. All right, we're gonna start her up again. Starts up easily. Just rev the motor, it'll start to charge. We'll put the windows down and they're fast. So this one decided to give up. I'm putting down the driver's side rear and Will's window right now. 
So Will takes all the pictures for the cars and he helps us out with the videos. We have Yasid that does a lot of the video editing and photography and then we have Ralph. He's gonna probably edit this one and he sets us up for, for future success in regards to setting up for advertising campaigns, our Hot Sauce Thursday and our soon to be uh, vlog. Week. Yeah, we're doing Hot Sauce Thursday this week, correct? We test out hot sauces and you get to select them on our social media. Yeah, watch us suffer or enjoy the taste. <laughs> so the antenna works. Hey, you just pull this switch right here and it goes up. Look at how tall it is. And then to go down, just click it. Fuel gauge is working. We have a litter, which is a lighter. You have your speaker control. A leader. <laughs> a leader, we got a leader of, uh, of fire. You have a nice storage box right here. A little holder for maps. It's a nice ride. E-brake. It works, but I would not trust it. The light also operates. I'm gonna open up a little vent here for air. Horn works. So we're gonna take this one for a short trip to our area where we do the outside shots, where you see all those artist artistic shots. Shifted into second, and it just went into third. Let's see how the brakes work. It pulls a little bit to the right, so maybe the right caliper is tighter than the left. Just shift it into second again. So there is pulling on the brakes. All right, let's jump on to 95. Let's go. <laughs> we'll keep this one on the side road since it's pulling. Suspension feels good. What's cool about this ride is it actually has a adjustable torsion suspension, so it self-levels. So there is also a override switch underneath here if you wanted to lower or raise the uh, the vehicle. It's right under the dash, it's a toggle switch. I don't like messing with it because it will try to auto level when the, when the car is off, so say you park it, and the battery will be drained. So when you go to start it the next time, it's kind of annoying. So make sure you have it on the left position whenever you uh, turn the car off. Turning's easy. Is it comfortable back there? Yeah. Nice. Engine's extremely healthy, healthy, so it has, we didn't even show the engine. We're gonna have to show that when we stop. It's a 376 with 200 and, I think 270 horsepower. Three speed transmission, one year only transmission. We just had it rebuilt. All new fluids and filters. Feel it shift. The uh, rear uh, mirror is starting to show its age. We're going about, I'd say, 35 miles an hour right now with no issues. It's smooth. We're going to turn left here to go to our artistic area where we can get those outside shots you see at the beginning of all of our videos. If you guys want to find out how we film these videos, we're going to do a blog post on that too. So we can show you guys, say you sell on Bring a Trailer or you're starting to sell cars. We want to show you guys how to do that. So that'll be a, a series at some point. And if you have any questions on how we do certain things, we'll, we'll definitely answer them for you. It's showing 52,000 miles and based on the condition underneath, it's probably true. It's also been restored. Trim throughout the windows look great. Uh, I mean, the more you look at it, there's so many little details. Headliner's nice. Yeah, the fabric is comfortable. Yeah, it does. It's got like a little bit of sparkle in it, right? You see that? There's like metallic in there. Overall, I'd rate this in regards to overall condition quality. This is like a seven out of 10. Shows really well. Um, the brakes do pull to the right, so I would assume that's just an adjustment because I don't see any leaking underneath. Uh, but there, you know what's weird about these brakes? They don't have an adjustment spot where you can uh, tighten the, the, actu the actual drum or like the spring. So I don't know how to do it and I don't want to mess anything up. But just tell you guys, it's easier to be honest. Turn signal works. 
and I see an airplane coming in right now, southwest. If you guys want to fly in to take a look at this, you're more than welcome to. We are five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport, and this is the main highway. This is 95. Airplanes land right on top of our property right there, and if you need us to pick you up, we can do that for you. One thing I forgot to show you guys is the engine bay. So it's powered by a 379. Very tidy, correct color. You can see that it's running right now. Carburetor doesn't leak. Uh, newer battery, we just put that in there. You can see the generator. And it's extremely healthy, so there's no dead spots. As you can see, we've been driving it around. 270 horsepower, radiator was record. And look at all the, bright, uh, all the bolts. So they've all been pulled out and redone. Engine bay paint is extremely nice. This is definitely a keeper to put in a collection or bring it to the next level. Maybe put air ride on it and lower it or just drive it as it is to car shows. Let's continue on with our test drive. We'll get some drive-by shots for you. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Thanks again. Overall conditions, this thing drives great. Engine's healthy. Uh, interior is extremely nice as is the exterior. If you have any questions, as I said before, just give us a call. We are upfront and honest. We've sold over 1,800 cars. We have an amazing uh, reputation just for online selling. We help with, with shipping so we can assist with shipping. And that's a third party. So what we do is we just give you our costs for shipping. You pay the driver directly for that and we make sure they have the proper insurance. And what we do is if I don't like the truck driver, I don't like his trailer, all of our guys are instructed, don't load it, call the customer, get another truck because it's tough nowadays for transport in regards to moving vehicles because a lot of guys will say that they have insurance, but they don't. So you want to make sure that you ask for the insurance documents before it ships out. I've had so many horror stories. I've had cars stolen. Uh, you just need to make sure that you do your due diligence, and that's exactly what we do here. Hope you guys enjoyed that test drive. If you have any questions, give us a call. This thing, when I'm going around all the grass and everything, you don't feel a single bump. It's just like super smooth. It's like a couch. Jump in it. Let's go home. Yay!